from Brooke Army Medical Center, the flagship of Army Medicine in Fort Sam Houston, as we salute our veterans. The rooftop view of downtown San Antonio. And here's the Center for the Intrepid, the state-of-the-art rehab facility for wounded warriors who have sustained burns, limb loss, and amputation. The $50 million center was built entirely on private funds donated by 600,000 Americans. Now inside the CFI, we're on the fourth floor overlooking the gym. On the track, adaptive cycling is a new sport for wounded veterans to continue endurance and cardio. They can continue this activity when they leave here for the rest of their lives. On the bike here, Sergeant Ricardo Perez, and he joins us. And Sergeant, uh, what's the best part of this rehab exercise for you? Well, now that I cannot run anymore, this bike has become my legs, my everything. It gives me my freedom back. Uh, it's nothing else better to feel the air on your face and just feel free once again. Now, I know you're a goal setter. Uh, there's a big goal next June. A group of you guys are going from Paris to London on these bikes. Have you thought about that? Are you preparing for a trip like that? I'm working on that. It's a uh, matter of uh, working with these arms and my core and especially get the clearance from the doctors uh, because I have way too many surgeries so I have to wait a lot for my rehab but I'm ready for the challenge. What does this do for your endurance and your cardio building? Make you a stronger person not just physically but mentally. Uh, we don't see we see day by day as a challenge but it's a small challenge just from waking up until that day of the, at the end of the day, you accomplish a lot of little challenges. And that's how life is, it, is for us right now. I know you're still on active duty. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Sergeant. Sir. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. For much more on groundbreaking treatment inside this gym, let's head down to the third floor. Hannah. Thanks a lot, Kevin. A lot of hard work, as you know, and as we've seen this week, it goes on down here, not only on the part of our wounded warriors, but also the therapists and the doctors who work tirelessly, and they have perfected this new cutting edge technique. Uh, they've never before publicized it. This is a sports owner exclusive. It's something that's difficult. It's painful, uh, but the patients down here are clamoring to do it because the results are so incredibly dramatic. Take a look. The technique is called blood flow restriction training. A specialized surgical tourniquet is applied to the injured limb and inflated to partially restrict blood flow while the patient exercises. Remarkably, researchers here say they are seeing 70 to 80% strength gains in just a few weeks, numbers previously unheard of in conventional rehabilitation. Wounded warriors who were once asking for amputations due to insurmountable pain are now choosing to keep their limbs. And the introduction of this revolutionary training to the sports medicine world may change how elite athletes are rehabilitated. What you're about to see looks very simple, but it's very dramatic. And again, this has never before been seen anywhere. This is a Sports Center exclusive, and uh, this is our new best friend here, uh, Johnny Owens. He's the Chief of Human Performance here at CSI. This is Maureen Brandon Kothman. Uh, what kind of injury did you suffer, Brandon? I had uh, several lesions in my cartilage within my knee. This is uh, something we talked about and heard about with athletes, like microfracture surgery, right. uh, something that could be a career ender. And he's wearing this tourniquet. Tell me what exactly is happening here. Right, and so when you have an injury like, to your knee, a cartilage injury like this, it's really hard to get strength back because to get strength back, you have to put all the, the force through your knee. So we've, we've been able to study some science that shows if we can decrease blood flow using these specialized surgical tourniquets, he can get his strength back lifting very, very light weights. And uh, can... How light is that weight, Brandon? Uh, it's 15 pounds right now. Okay, and what does it feel like? You've obviously lifted a lot of weights. You are a high school football player and, and a great athlete. So what does it feel like? Uh, probably about 50, 60 pounds. Wow. Um, I can attest to the fact I tried this yesterday. It is very, very difficult. Right. Show us, because uh, we have Brandon's chart here, about how dramatic his strength gain has been. Right, and so you see this lower, the dark blue line, is when he first started three weeks before he started this training. And there's that big dip 
And then the, the lighter blue line above the top is after three weeks of doing this training at a very light weight, and he got 30% stronger. After just three weeks, we also have an Achilles injury that shows a really dramatic improvement. Right. And how common, you know, is the uh, ruptured Achilles in, in professional athletics? You, you see those guys that have such a hard time getting back their power and speed that they once had before this. So, so this guy came to us nine months after his injury, just wasn't doing very well. And after three weeks, he got 372% stronger. Okay, so in layman's terms, we're restricting a, a great part Part of the blood flow and that's sending messages to your brain what's right. it telling your brain right when we're restricting this this blood flow we're really making these fast twitch powerful fibers activate that releases a, a, a lot of chemicals in your muscle and it, it tells your brain to start releasing your own anabolic steroids as you might say so your human growth hormone goes up your own norepinephrine which is your own steroid goes up and that's where we see these big changes and you had this surgery and then how, how quick was your recovery using this technique uh, we started this technique three months prior to surgery so once I had the surgery, we kicked it off again, and I was able to run after three months, start doing plyometrics, lifting weights, and uh, release back to full duty after six. So Wow. And it, we really told him that it would be nine months to a year if he was even able to get back to running again. So, so th that's how accelerated it right, is. And right. what are the implications for the general population? Well, it's going to be huge. I mean, obviously, for our service members, if you're really severely injured, this is a, a gigantic game changer. For general orthopedic injuries and in, in, in our in our athletes, it's going to be as equal to a game changer. And then even thinking about our elderly population, total joint replacements, and how hard it is for them to get their strength back. So it's going to be a, a big, big thing for the rest of the medical community. Well, and uh, we'll be seeing its application soon, uh, maybe within the next year. Um, I can just tell you how how tough this is, man. <laughs> oh, Brandon, God bless you. Thank you so much uh, for your service to yes, this country. Uh, you as well, Johnny. You've been Thanks, a great Sam. host, uh, and we appreciate.